Hello everyone, my name is Christos Pidis and I am a Microsoft Dynamics Nav Consultant. In this episode, I'm going to show you how to create and set up cash flow forecasts for Microsoft Dynamics Nav 2016. Understanding cash inflows and outflows are the keys to running a successful business. You can use cash flow to create easily a short-term forecast that predicts how and when you expect money to be received and paid out by your business. Open your Microsoft Dynamics Nav 2016 client, go to the department's menu, cash flow, chart of cash flow accounts. You can use the one included in the Kronos Demon database or you can create a new one based on your company's needs. In the cash flow forecast, the individual values that affect the cash flow of your company are arranged by using cash flow accounts. The formula is quite basic. Receipts minus payments plus minus cash in hand. Cash flow funds is a group of accounts taken directly from the chart of accounts. Consequently, the total cash flow field shows the answer you are looking for a particular period of time. We must establish which cash flow accounts should be used for the entries in the areas of general ledger, purchase, sales, service and fixed assets. Make sure you have the accounting manager role. Click on the home menu and have a look at the chart flow chart. In my example, it's empty at the moment and it will appear there by the end of this exercise. Go to the financial management menu, cash flow and cash flow forecasts. Hit the new button on the top so to create a new one. Tap away to get a number automatically and then type into the description field. For example, cash flow forecast 2017. Select the Consider CF Payment Terms checkbox to use the Cash Flow Payment Terms code that is set up for a customer and the Cash Flow Payment Terms code that is set up on a vendor. If the checkbox is not selected, the payment terms from the posted customer ledger entries or vendor ledger entries and the sales, service or purchase orders are used. Select the show in chart on role center checkbox to display the cash flow forecast chart on the role center. Go to the cash flow manual revenues and click on it. You can record manual revenues. Manual revenues are items such as rental income, interest from financial assets or new private capital. In the recurring frequency field, you can enter 1M, which means one month to record the rental revenue on a monthly basis or 3M, which is quarterly basis. Go back to cash flow and click on the cash flow manual expenses page. You can record manual expenses. Manual expenses are items such as salaries, interest on credit or planned investments. The same logic applies here regarding the setup options. In this video, I'm creating a manual expense so you can see how easy it is. Click on the new button on the top and create a new line. Find the customer's page, locate a customer and visit the payments 
fast tab and enter a value in the cash flow payment terms code field. In real life, customers sometimes delay the payments so you can put a more realistic value in that field to be included in your cash flow projections. Go to the cash flow forecasts, select the newly created forecast and run the cash flow worksheet function. Click on the Suggest Worksheet Lines button on the top and place a check mark in all options. I am excluding the budgeting option here, but it's a great option and you can take it as your homework. Click OK. Have a look at the transactions. In the cash flow worksheet, you register the forecasted transactions of cash inflows and outflows periodically with a batch job. You can manually edit the registered cash inflows and outflows and enter additional lines. In order to handle all this, it is important to learn to work with the cash flow worksheet. I will scroll down to find the manual entries I have created for the Canon group based on the cash flow payment terms code. In the end, click on the register button at the top. Go back to the home menu and check the chart of accounts chart on your right hand side. The chart should be there now. Play with the filters and options to make the graphic representation meaningful for you. Go to the department's menu, cash flow and chart of cash flow accounts. Check the amounts column to see some numbers there against each line. Scroll down to check the last line total cash flow. 